So I want to show you a really useful tool when you're working with um, digital documents and you want to do some editing, maybe screen share and show students what you're doing. So I am wanting to put this document that I was at just there, the other one, the um, this paper that I, I want to work on with the students. I want to put it into my OneNote because if you start doing this in Word, it can sometimes get a bit jumbled. OneNote will let you just write straight over the top if you have a touch screen or you can put text straight over the top if you don't have a touch screen so I find it much easier to work in OneNote. Now we can take any Word document or in fact any document you like actually if you can print it then you can put it in OneNote. So um, OneNote acts like the paper that you're printing onto. So if you just go to file and then print in your options for your different printers you'll drop down and you'll get this option up here for OneNote. If you have OneNote installed on your computer, that should automatically come up. Um, if you have an option there for an old version of OneNote, don't use that. OneNote just by itself is the one that you're looking for. You don't want to be using 2016. So print it to OneNote there and then hit print. Now I had already previously been in my notebook and opened up the page where I wanted it to be. So now it's recognizing that it's printing to OneNote and it's flashing at me down there on the icon to tell me I need to do something over there. So if I go print, uh, go click on that now, it asks me where do I want to print it to. Now I already had the page ready to go that I wanted to print it to, so I can just uh, click straight into there. If I didn't have the page ready, I could click on the options below to um, slot it into one of those locations. It's much easier if you just go and make a page first and then you do the print and then it's going exactly where you want to be as the first option. So click on there and press OK. And then just give it a minute to think about it. And here we have that printed out page, which means that now I can go and do my screen casting, draw all over this as if it was a piece of paper. So I could um, either start typing here, so um, what just might go a little bit skew if the first time when you, you're writing it. So you might want to type over at the side on this question, you need to, and you know, whatever it is that you want to put in for that um, answer there. So you could put those answers in and drag them onto the top, just like they're a piece of paper, or um, because I've got a touch screen uh, on my surface, then I'm actually just going to write these in by hand. So on that differentiation question, I'm going to say that I'm going to go with dy by dx is equal to, and then I'd continue my video for my students. So that's printing to OneNote. Very simple. You can do it from a PDF. You can do it from a Word document. Anything that you could print to actual paper you can print to OneNote instead so that you can very easily share those digital files with your students and do whatever else you want to do with it in OneNote, whether that be uh, writing out some work solutions, um, highlighting parts of it. So I might want to go through with a highlighter here. Maybe this is a piece of text for some um, English work and you wanted to go through and highlight some bits. So you can just go through on that document and color it just like you would if this was an actual piece of paper. You've got as many tools as you want up here at the top with your different um, colored pens and things. I can delete things if I've made a mistake um, and yeah, go ahead and use it like it's paper.